So what's good, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the Bully Scientist, and I'm back with another video. Um, so, as you guys might uh, tell, I'm wearing the same exact stuff as the last intro. That's because it's the same same day. And today, I just wanted to get some uh, footage of the dogs, see how active they are. So right now, I got Jazz and uh, Piglet out. Piglet stays out, but um, as far as uh, Cardi and Stella, Cardi, I won't let her out with Piglet just yet. Um, I, I feel like she still has to get used to Piglet. Um, but one of these videos, I will introduce them face to face. But Cardi is very jealous. Um, she doesn't really like too many other dogs, you know, uh, trying to touch me. So. I got I, I got to work with her. I haven't had the time to work with her like I did uh, with Jazz and everybody. So Jazz and Piglet, they do pretty good because Piglet really doesn't challenge Jazz, but Cardi, she will challenge. And Stella, she's not really a, a, a mean dog. She just plays very aggressive and she's very territorial. She doesn't really like anybody next to her cage. That's the only thing about her. But I've had I've had dog fights in the past with uh, Cardi and Jazz, and that's her daughter, you know, which is understanding they're both dominant females, and and yeah, as long as you're not challenging her, she should be all right. Well, that's a uh, Jazz I'm talking about. So my yard, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you guys see my yard. It's been raining a lot in California lately, and my grass finally grew back. So. It's grass and it's got a bunch of those little uh those little lily things. So I'm I'm gonna be cutting all this down pretty soon. Um it's just been really raining a lot lately. We had a flood here and uh and yeah, I cut down the trees. So I'm doing a lot. I'm getting ready to move that kennel. That kennel you guys seen it was next to the house. I'm going to be moving it over here soon. So and then I'm going to be dividing my backyard so my dogs have a place to run around and and yeah and then my kids have have a a place to to uh you know run and play soccer and you know we can actually come out here and play football do some football drills with my son and stuff so i'm getting ready to do all that right now um probably probably in the next uh couple couple of days i'll be doing this so i'm gonna let you guys see my backyard right now don't clown me guys i just like i said it's been raining a lot so this 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 like weeds and stuff they grow pretty quick um but i'm not sure if i should turn this and then actually plant grass well the back half i'm not gonna do anything to because because the dogs are just gonna like ruin it so i'm gonna put like half of half of the backyard all all um all for the dogs and then the other half we're gonna be able to throw parties and stuff i'm actually start fixing my backyard up. i know i've been saying that for a minute but now i got the time um so i'm actually not working right now so i got a little bit more time i can do i can hang with the dogs and stuff which i've been doing let jazz out and stuff i'll be taking them uh i want to take them hiking jazz and piglet hiking just to see and uh yeah so I'm gonna let you guys see right now so you guys can see <laughs> my backyard has been thriving right now um, I, I actually got to cut it down because I don't want it it's already starting to look like a jungle so you guys see I cut down the trees and I put them all right there I got to cut them up and throw them in the green trash can but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm actually probably gonna throw my my, uh, my cleats on and then come out here and mess with the dogs Come on, look, look, look. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. This piglet right here. Here's my, here's my, uh, my weight set and stuff. Can come out here and get, get a good little. You guys know. So get pig. Come on, girl. Let's do it. Piglet's actually very active. Jazz, she really don't care. So with the grass like this, it kind of got rid of the thorns, you know. But you can see right here, these these little um, things right here, those are actually 
thorns that will grow in the summer so i'm gonna get some roundup and spray them so that way they don't come back but when i cut this down it actually looks better um i just been chilling you know trying to figure out ways to better my program and stuff you know i invested in this female invested in my uh, progesterone machine so now hopefully i will be doing better dogs are out running around in this grass i haven't seen them limping so i'm thinking you know the thorns kind of found their way into the mud which is good <coughs> My uncle was telling me to burn them, but it's doing too much. But anyways, I'll probably take um, I'll probably take these two dogs out to you know a park and let them run around. And probably maybe see if uh, what's her name will chase the RC car. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to get you guys some some good quality footage of how active my dogs are they are not table dogs which they're pockets so pockets really aren't uh very active um jazz is a little bit bigger she might be she's pocket maybe standard i don't think i haven't measured her yet i, I want to say she's close to 15 16 inches <coughs> but piglet she's a, she's she is 13 inches she's very small and that's how short I want them. I don't want them. I, want, I don't want my females any taller. Um, that's one of the reasons why I kept Cardi. She's very short. A true pocket. Um, you know, I used to think she was micro, but she's not micro. She's very short. She can produce micros if I breed her to something a little bit smaller than her. Which I don't want exotic blood in my uh, my program because. I'm trying to create that champion dog, you know, and for me to put exotic blood in it, I think it's, I think it's frowned upon, at least for me, it's frowned upon. So that's one of the reasons, there's another reason why I got rid of, um, smoke because he did have exotic blood in him. He had a uh, hot Cheeto in him and that's exotic blood in, in my opinion. So, but yeah, they're over here having a blast. Come here, Jazz. Come here, mama. Jazz. Come here. She's being hard headed right now. Here's your mama. Come here. Come here. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a pig lady. Come on, your mama. Come on. There's a Frenchie right there. And then I got Cardi over here. I got to clean their cages up. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I won't show you guys because I already got enough of those videos. So I'll be cleaning their cages up, and then one by one I'll be moving Jazz's cage over there, and uh, I gotta move that deck, which that deck's gonna be kind of a, uh, you know what, to move. So I gotta get my boy to come help me. Um, so yeah, my boy or my brother-in-law somebody come help me but yeah guys that's what i've been up to man i ain't been up to really much but i've been working in silence you know you guys will start to see slowly i i've been I, I i'm starting to put you know my my content out again and stuff um but i ain't been giving getting as much love as i was mainly because i i know it's uh you know the youtube algorithm once i stop posting it kind of slowed down so i gotta build it up again and it's, it's just it's just uh it's a lot of work but you see i i don't mind putting content out i love it i don't even care for to get anything back in return you know i've been doing this for what it's going on two years or two years it's actually two years already um so so yeah channel still growing slowly but you know i ain't had puppies yet man that's really that's really my main focus right now is to try to have some puppies to continue my breeding program um i'm not a breeder so don't don't call me a breeder 
I'm just a uh, a guy who loves the breed. Um, so I've been watching a lot of uh, a lot of videos lately on like uh, come here. I've been watching a lot of videos lately on uh, the Muscle Tone. Richard actually started uploading uh, videos and stuff, and I and I really like I really like his dogs. So <sighs> hopefully in the future, you guys don't you guys never know. I might end up you know buying me a, a, a Muscle Tone dog. I really like I really like what he's what he's doing, what he's about. Very stand up dude, very smart guy, and I like the Muscle Tone dogs. The only thing about the muscle soon dogs is you guys know the health health and uh the health that they got uh that you know revolves around you know super extreme dogs uh which um i love the look of the extreme dogs but i'm not a fan of um super um unhealthy dogs which uh his dogs aren't super unhealthy they just have like you know uh breathing problems and everything that comes along with extra muscle you know if i can get like the happy medium between like extreme and just pocket regular pocket um, i'll be good kind of like what dozer was just for dozer i would have liked to have just a little bit more rear on him and he would have been like the perfect dog um he had the bone he had the head and you know i would have liked the shorter muzzle not too short I would want I want something like Jazz's muzzle to where it's not it's not long but it's not short but it's very boxy so that's what I'll probably end up doing I actually have a son of Jazz that I might breed um, I might try to breed Stella with and or Piglet but Piglet has about one or two more litters in her and then that's it so I'm gonna be using Bane with Piglet next. Bane or Marcus? I'm not sure yet. You know, Marcus. I I haven't really seen too much of his um productions, but I've seen Bane's productions and he produces some nice females and uh, nice boys. He produces that girth. Um, he he does throw that rear, and that's you guys know that's all really. Piglet needs a well. She has a good rear, but you guys know me. I always said I'm a big. I like the real thick rears because you can have uh it doesn't look right for a bodybuilder to have a big upper body and small legs but if a bodybuilder has big legs and not that big of a upper body it doesn't look as bad so you know you guys think of i don't know if you guys follow um <coughs> sorry i'm a little under the weather if you guys if you guys follow any of the bodybuilding like um the old school bodybuilders if you look at Tom Platts, he had some of the best legs, uh, at least for me, some of the best legs. As I was saying, guys, before I was uh, rudely um, cut off by the camera. Such a good girl. You be a good girl. These are my good girls. These are my good girls right here. But like I was saying, guys, um, so if you look at Tom Platts, he had some of like the best um quads legs in the game um so that it always looks better for um you know a bodybuilder to have uh you know big legs and and a good uh actually he had he had a, he had a great upper body too but you know it's it doesn't look it doesn't look uh, uh good for a bodybuilder to have you know big big upper body little legs what i'm trying to get at so you know everybody always goes off of the front stacks and stuff but me like if the dog has a solid rear like a really good good like a great rear to me it looks better so okay baby. okay don't lick me so much you look at me a lot you look at me a lot you need a bath you don't really stink but you feel oily this is my baby girl she knows kind of i haven't been giving her the, as much love as uh i used to give her so that's why she's all up on me it's okay i still love you baby i do not 
Yeah, this is my baby girl. Everybody knows, you know, Jazz. Jazz is my first true American bully. And you too, mama. Yes, you too. But yeah, guys. Um, just wanted to get you guys some uh, some footage of the dogs. I'll probably my next one. I'll probably take them out. Maybe go on a hike. I'm still thinking about it. Um, Piglet actually listens very good. She's a little hard headed, but uh, she will listen. Maybe go on a little fishing trip with them. Uh, but but yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I haven't been putting out as much content um, as I used to. Because uh, a lot of it comes from, uh, you know, after I lost my boy Dozy, <coughs> my boy Dozer, it kind of went all down here. I really didn't have much to work with, like, as far as, you know, uh, training, stacking them and stuff like that, which I could try, I, I, I could uh, start training these two females, but I'm really not, um, I'm really not about showing a female because you know when you get your stud you want you want to stud them out and stuff like that and you want to you know spread you know your blood which you can do that with the female too but it just will take a little longer they will have to wait and get a uh, get a puppy and you know something about a stud having your own stud is is, is different so until i get my stud I'll actually start, you know, working with them, and you guys will see more of those videos. Maybe even I'll start if I if I end up, you know, one of these litters, you know, in the future that comes. Maybe I'll start training a female, and uh, see the difference between, you know, how easy is it when uh, when it comes to uh, training a female and training a male. Which, in my opinion, I think females are a lot more easy going, as you can see. See this baby. Is a lot more easy going. Dirty, you're like rolling around in the grass, huh? Yeah, she's this is a sweetheart. Jazz is a sweetheart, you know. So, is they're both healthy females? Um, think about Jazz. I'm not sure what's going on with her yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to take her to a vet and, and see if, if there's anything I can see. Or anything that I could find out why her progesterone levels aren't going up um, hopefully they don't tell me that I'm gonna have to uh, you know spade her because I'm not about spading dogs or neutering them um, I, I just I don't know I had something about that I, I don't feel like that's the right way to do it you know just be more responsible with your dogs you know, I have nothing but females and I do have kennels and stuff. So as soon as I can find, find out, hey, your hair, your skin is like real dry, mama. Really dry. Yeah, I love this dog. Ever since I seen this dog, I wanted her. I never seen her in person. I always seen her in, in, um, in pictures and uh, I still wanted her. And I finally got her. Mainly because she's black, she's real compact, she's real small, and her skin is real dry right now. I think it's the weather change. You know, it's she probably needs another bath. Yeah, her skin's really, really dry. It's okay, 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 okay. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, the Bullet Scientist, and I'm out. Peace.